Nigel, though, he um, he died, he was found dead in his gym about about a month or so ago. And the fact of the matter is, yeah, some of the chants. You know what? I'm not even going to repeat some of the chants that were said because it because it was absolutely because it was absolutely disgraceful. And imagine how hurtful. I mean, we we, we spoke earlier in the show about Mwamba and others in terms of how how much it must hurt the families. But at the end of the day, it's like, come on, man. I mean, I mean some yeah, I said some some of the chants were just absolute absolutely disgraceful. Those people should not only be never allowed into football grounds again, but they should be they should be put under put them under the jail. And as said, there are there are all, there's always a moronic minority of fans. There are always a moronic minority of fans. But Jesse G man, what do you reckon before we throw it out as well? No, I have to, I have to say it's a disgrace. And you know, we can go and get the Didier Jogba sound bite if we have to. But being absolutely serious, you know, like I say, this week we've seen the good in football and we've also seen the absolutely god awful and disgusting in football. Yeah. It has to be said, you know, like I say something's bigger than football and there's a basic level. Of, of human dignity and respect that should be paid to others that really wasn't being shown right and this uh really childish excuse to go and say that, yeah sometimes fans go and do that you know to a certain degree i can accept it and uh, others i can't and others where i can't is the fact that you're talking absolutely disgracefully about the dead yeah do you know what I mean? I'm like to all the. I don't, I'm saying this now to all those fans out there that was that was um, saying those horrible chants. How would you feel if someone was talking about somebody who was deceased in your family? Yeah, very much so. Do you know what I mean? And th- th- this is the this is the basic level of human decency that I have to go and say about football fans, and it makes me. Honestly, it makes me ashamed to be a football fan to see that people don't have the common basic level decency mm. as people to go and respect other people and their families in regards to the dead it, it really saddens me because as I say this is something that's much bigger than football and people should have the common sense and understanding to see that this is bigger than football and totally and wholly inappropriate why are you doing that it adds nothing to the game whatsoever do you know what I mean like yes you can go and, and, and mock a particular player you can mock a coach you can even mock a team's running form or a mascot but to speak ill of the dead is absolutely disgraceful. Those fans should be ashamed of themselves. And as I say, you know, I think the footballing authorities, not just in England, not just in the UK, but around the world, need to do more in regards to this. They really do. Because it's absolutely disgraceful. It really is. Yeah. No, it is. No, it is. I mean, yeah. G-Man, do you want to add something? No, I'm just going to add to that about doing more because I'm not even going to waste my breath on those sort of fans. But... You know that program we watched the other day about um, the, the the gay football report on Sky Sports News. Yeah, and they said down in, down in Brighton yeah. they got a control center where you know they actually use audio specific audio te- technology to pick up on comments, chants, you know, concerning whether it's about um, ethnicity or whether it's about homosexuality. Yeah, they yeah, need yeah. to implement that sort of technology in all football grounds, and I, I know it's going to be. Um, harder for the the lower leagues but you know especially at the top they need to implement that they got the money you know they're they're paying players like silver 200,000 a week you know they must be able to be to implement those sort of structures because it's about education and we've said it before it's about educating people and you know you've got to hit people hard first to help them understand no of course no of course if you penalise people and penalise them to the fullest extent of the law or whatever then they're not going to do it again. But people have got to start being penalised for it. But you know what? I just want to just want to ask before we move on. Big T, Tom Hewitt. Um, obviously, as a Forest fan, you um, well, as a Forest fan, have have your views. Have your views. Well, I've got to say, my thoughts echo all of yours as well. I think it's an absolute disgrace, and I. I can't say anything else to that. I think these people, right, are not fans. They're, they're devils. That's all I can say on radio. They're just disgraceful. And how they can look at themselves in the mirror every morning after what they said is a disgrace because you do not say anything about the dead because the dead can't say anything back. And yes, I do agree with Callum. They are bullies. They are. That's a nice way I can say it. And me as a Forest fan, yes, there are rivalries. Yes, we do have a rivalry with Derby. 
but when you talk about the dead, mate, that just takes it to a whole new level. And I think the people who have said that need to be banned from games for life and charged with whatever you can think of because it's an absolute disgrace. And I've said that many times now. And oh, it just makes my blood boil the more, the more I think about it. And it is upsetting. Yeah, I mean, ex- I mean, it's one of them. Was think of the dudes, think of, think of his family having to hear that as well. That's yeah, but I mean, there were like worse. people who didn't agree with what Doughty did, but at the end of the day, he was the owner of Forest. He put a lot of money into that club. It was yeah. close to his heart, yeah. and the fact that the Derby fans had taken this to their advantage and using it to rally the Forest fans up, it's and it's it's sick, yeah. and it really upsets me to think that people nowadays can say such hurtful things to other fans and other clubs it really does put you off football matches and I for one will not be going to a derby match ever can't blame you I really can't blame you mm. and going back to that story about derby is just a bloody disgrace yeah no it is no, it, it is there's, there's no other there's no other way to to describe it at the end of the day um, I it, it's sad it really, it it really is, is sad it, look all this is about rivalries, about fans just wanting to get over on each other, and then obviously football does the talking. But if you go around, you know, to be honest, you know, you can't. They can stop it, yeah, by nicking them. But you know, to be honest, they shouldn't just be allowed back. Honestly, they should mm. just be banned for life. Yeah.